So, this is a home in Manoa. It does need a little bit of work, um, but we're gonna check it out. Manoa is just a great place. I do wanna show you the backyard. out the backyard yeah, so just a nice big space play area beautiful mountain views this is definitely a property with potential so said it does need some work but as you walk in your living space. Dining area. Um, way to the exterior. And here you have the kitchen. You could definitely take this wall down. Big open kitchen. And you have the um, enclosed laundry room with access to the outside. And then you have bathroom number one. And your primary bedroom. It is an older home, so the bedrooms are not huge. Um, but there's a half bath. In the primary and then bedroom number two this is all original and bedroom number three so yeah this home definitely has potential um, now the location is going to affect your ARV um, because you're right across from the Manoa theater um, but the road is a is a bit busy, so that is gonna affect your buyer base. But the backyard, the space is incredible. So if you have any questions on this house and you are moving to Oahu and you are willing to do some work, this is a great opportunity. So let's go ahead and analyze this deal to see if it works as a fix and flip. So we want to check out everything that's pending, active, and that has been sold. It is in the Manoa area. It's a single family. It is fee simple. Again, you are getting the land along with the dwelling. We have, um, let's get close this. Sorry, I've got clients texting me this morning. Uh, <laughs> and my daughter. <laughs> okay, sorry. So the subject property is right here. So this is the property that we just um, saw. It, it really, structurally, it's in great condition. The yard is phenomenal. Um, like I said in the video, uh, the location, it is on a little, on the busier streets in Manoa. So that will affect, um, the number of people who, who are interested. But this home, as you see, it is 1,074 square feet. The lot is 7,500 and it is a, uh, 04 7.5. So... Um, this means that you have, can have one dwelling per every 7,500 square feet. Um, but you do have the room where you could uh, build an ADU, which is an additional dwelling unit, uh, either for extended family, guests, or long-term or mid-term rentals would be an option. 
anywhere close to the university. So a little rental in this area could probably do pretty well. So let's go ahead and find our ARV. So like I said, there's our subject property, a thousand square feet on a 7,500 square foot lot. Um, do we have any similar, I mean, this is pretty, uh, Kind of similar in size but much smaller lot this is a very big lot bigger house uh, we're not really going to use the current listings uh, for our ARV but it's just kind of nice to see what's out there but as you see this is one of the smaller homes in Manoa so let's go ahead and jump to our solds and see where we are Nothing really. Here's one that's similar. Let's go ahead and grab that one. And then as we jump over here, again, these, these are not very good comps because they're so much larger than our subject house. Um, similar lot sizes. So this one's kind of a little, a little more difficult to get our comps. Let's check out um, this one that's sold. So it sold for a million fifty, but it, it did need some work as you see. Um, so we'll probably be seeing that one, but they started at 1338. So that's why I always tell everyone, especially investors, don't really pay attention to this this price. Um I I hate to say this, but I honestly think it is currently listed probably pretty close to the ARV, maybe even a little over. I am going to go with an ARV of 1.4. Um, we just don't have the comps to support any higher than that. So now that we kind of know about what our comps are, let's go ahead and jump into our our repair estimator. I am going to put, go ahead and put our, our ARV here. And let's go to our repair estimator. Um, so we have to decide on the roof. Let's go. How old is this house? 1958. Um, are there any photos of the roof? I didn't see like glaring issues. But I, I'm gonna say that we probably um, can look at the fascia and the soffits in pretty good shape. These are your gutters. You will want gutters in Manoa. It does rain. So let's go ahead. Oh, we don't want the word document. Um, okay, let's say we're not gonna totally rip, rip and replace it. We are going to, uh, I don't know why these are saying yes and no in here. I'm gonna take those out. Um, we are just going to do some shingles and because of the carport, I'm going to say 1100 square feet. I don't think, um, and I'm going to add a little 600 patch there. I don't think we need new, uh, plywood. All right. Um, the soffit and the fascia, it, it looked okay. We do need... Um, we do need gutters so I'm just going to throw throw something in there for gutters I think it, they're going to be a little more than that actually so I'm going to throw them here too uh, I don't think they'll be that much though um, I'm going to double this just to get us a thousand dollars to put towards gutters the siding um seemed fine i would definitely we're going to plan on painting it uh the masonry there wasn't we're going to paint interior and exterior again i'm going to go with 1100 square feet uh prices for painting have gone up so i'm going to reset that and i i think we it may be more than that too um but it, this gives us a a rough idea and let's go back to our photos and check out you know, how many windows we need a bay window and one two 
Um, three, another couple bay windows. Big windows are more expensive. Three, so four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. So fourteen windows. So we're gonna go fourteen regular windows and two. Oops, I'm in the garage. <coughs> Sorry. Yes, I know. All right, let's go back up to windows. 14 windows and two of the large windows. Uh, the landscaping is, is still nice, but we do have to maintain it. And we usually pay someone to do that. And we're not going to demo any asphalt. Um, I I don't think I would go ahead and do anything with the deck. There's a nice backyard. I I may do a fence in the front for a little more privacy. Uh, gosh, let's let's plan on a. I did not. Let's print on a. Oh, that's that's not right. There we go. Let's plan on a fence. Okay, we already did painting inside and out. We are going to go ahead and plan on a high in because of the area and the price point. Um, let's plan on high-end flooring let's go ahead and tile the kitchens and the bathrooms and we definitely want some backsplash throw all this in here we want the fancy showers I'm just giving us a number in there so we can um, um, again the price point I would plan on a high-end kitchen and replacing everything we want some nice bathrooms maybe not that nice so let's see one really nice and one okay bathroom how about that um we are going to take out a wall because i think we should open the kitchen We probably need to stay on the walls. Maybe not, not that, this one, <laughs> sorry. Um, we do need all new doors and trim. Um, new interior doors, closet doors, hardware and trim. The foundation actually felt okay. I didn't feel anything. Um, we are going to go ahead and put in some split ACs. They are $3,000 a unit. We would want, I would put one in the main living area and one in each bedroom. So four of those. We need a demo and we probably need a couple of dumpsters. And then for Hawaii, I always throw in a little 15% um, contingency. So we're looking at about 98,000. And that is about what we thought when we left there. I think you could um, fix it um, up for about 100K. So let's go back to our deal information here. I do think, um, you know, hold time would be about six months. A repair estimates about 98,000. This has all of our, I, maybe 90%. It depends on what we could get it at, if we could get a 90% coverage with a hard money loan. Um, again, I charge 4% if you sell it with me after you fix it up. So, we are obviously not going to get this house at 710. What if they would take a million? What? Oops. And then zeros are important. So let's see. If you started at a million, it's a, about a 10% ROI. Of a profit of 135,000 so you can kind of decide what what you're comfortable with 
is that at, at this much risk, is this what you are willing to take? Are you willing to take a little less profit? Maybe offer a million fifty? Oh, I think, again, zero's the hero here. We need the zero. So I, I would probably be okay with this return um, on this. What we have to watch out for is the RV. Um, and that's your after repair value. Again, being on that busy street, it's going to be a little harder to sell. Uh, it does have the plus of the very large lot, private backyard. Um, so something you have to think about and, and what risk you are comfortable with. So if you have any questions on how we analyze deals or if you'd like us to send you properties that are available, please reach out and let us know. And be sure to subscribe to our channel for more deal analysis.